Thank you for coming this afternoon. Uh, I'm very pleased. I was a bit late today. I was my my plan. My, my whole plan was was quite tight, and uh, the, the the plane in Munich was an hour late. I had only 50 minutes to change in, in London Gatwick, so the pilot was a bit faster, and the pilot <laughs> main flight a bit late. So at least I I'm here now, but I'm running like a loony <laughs> on the airport, but it's fine. And I'm, as I say, I'm very pleased to 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 be here now to, and. Uh, Present the my future on the on the Isle of Man because uh, after I retired, uh, I needed to find something to be involved in this great race, and uh, the best for me is to organize a cycle team. Uh, after I talked to Andy Faraga, and we say yeah, we have a look to do what what we can do and um, soon we it was clear that we if we do something we do it with Ben and Tom Virtual because that is <coughs> in my point of view the two guys who can win the TT quite soon uh, I said I would say probably not this year but I, I would say the year later it will be possible <laughs> Uh, as I know, it takes, uh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. As I know, it takes a lot of experience over here, and these two boys are they've done two races so far, and um, Molly is back, and uh, Team Reeves is coming back, um, and I think to beat them, it, that will be a hard job. But we will teach them right that they can do it. And uh, yeah, I would say the the T team is for the cyclists. I would say is the most important race in the world. I don't think it's, it's uh, the world championship is that is that strong and have that intention of 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 uh, an interest than the TT. So that's why I'm here and I I want to be part of this great event. Uh, after Andy and me decided to do that with uh, Tom and Ben, uh, we were looking for money to finance that. And uh, the first thing was uh, to ask Louis Christian in Switzerland for a new chassis, for a new LCI chassis. And uh, but by the time he told me the price of a new LCI chassis was nearly the end of the project. <laughs> Because the interest rate at the moment between the Swiss francs and, and pound or euro is incredible. Just for an example, three, four years ago, that Formula 2 chassis was 13,000 pounds, and at the moment it is 26,000 pounds, which is just about the exchange rates. So I was thinking, and then I remember my old friend and three years with me in the chair, uh, Adolf Henny, which is the, the world champion this year is a passenger, and I, I give him a ring and say, Adolf, you want to do TT? And he says, nah, nah, nah. I say, yeah, you want to do it? And he says, nah, I don't want. I say, yeah, you want. Uh, and he said, how? I say, just be part of a team. And immediately, after two seconds, he agreed to that. And that then takes uh, the step forward, and uh, at least we, we brought that caffeine thing on board. Which is not an energy drink. It's a it's a caffeine drink, uh, and is uh, is new on the market. It's um, it come to UK later this year, but uh, so he gave us the the last thing to to make it possible. Um, I think I, I hand over to Andy uh, to say what his point of view. And to this boys <coughs> and probably to Adolf. My point of view was when, when Klaus said he'd retired, obviously I knew before he announced it, and uh, he said we wanted on a team and I said, Well it depends who who the driver and the passenger are because 
you know, some of the guys, obviously in racing, everybody knows you like some, you don't. And uh, I said, uh, who are you thinking of? <clears throat> and he said, who are you thinking of? And we both immediately both said, Tom and Ben. And because uh, I would not have been interested in doing it with anybody else, to be quite, quite frank. And uh, they're very professional. They've got a good future ahead of them. I think Klaus's expertise now, which he obviously Dan was a good influence last year as well. Thank you. <coughs> the amount of information they can pass on to these two is going to really, really contribute <coughs> to our lap times. And there's no pressure on them as you watch. There's a real big learning curve because they've only done two TTs. But I honestly feel they'll be fighting for a podium this year and uh, the year after. You know, you've got to be able to try and win it. Anyway, so. And I'd also like to mention that they've had a, a real loyal sponsor who's their personal friend as well and uh, he's helped them for a long, long time and me and Klaus both said he had to be involved as well or we didn't want to step on anybody's feet and, and you know, he's a real good guy and that's Andy Mitchell from Mitchell's there. He helps them in the World Championship as well. It's the first day I've met Adolf, 57 years of age, world champion, still riding, he must be very fit, yes he is. With that on board, and Max Gas is still not into the extent they were last year, but they're still involved. And Max Telecom and Kieran is always good to help us. So I would just like to say uh, again, thanks for everybody coming, and we're really looking forward to putting the professional team on to compete at the CC. Ben, what do you think? You know, it's uh, since Andy and Klaus approached us and asked us. It's something that doesn't really happen in cycle racing. I certainly didn't think it happened to us. We, we, uh, we, we've been racing in the World Championship for a few years now, and we've been World Champions, and you know we, we still aim to do that as well. But in 2009, we got the chance to to do the TT. We've always come to watch it as kids on holiday, and you know something that we love. But it was always out of reach to do both disciplines. You know, in effect, have two bikes. <clears throat> we came in 09 on a really low budget. And immediately the place gets hold of you. And if ever we do anything, we try and do it to the best of our ability. In 2010, we couldn't come due to finances, and, and last year we made a big effort to come again. And we must have made an impression on, on Crafty when, when I look to him and his team and the way he runs it. It's something that it's a way that I'd aspire to do that. So I think that connection works really well. And. Uh, I really can't wait, and obviously with Adolf's input as well, his commitment to cycle racing is set to none. I don't think we'll ever be matched or better. Um, and obviously with the, the continued help from Andy and other sponsors, we, we're going to be what we feel is one of the strongest teams ever to come to the TT on a cycle. We, we only come to, to do well and to be successful and to win. We're not, we're not interested in just competing. You know, that's what we aim to do, and I know that's what we can do. And to have his, his knowledge and experience and input, and the reassurance really, just, just driving around today, doing a couple of laps, there's things that normally I'd be thinking to myself, I'm going to try this year, but you know, I have a, a massive advantage now where I can just, what do you think of this, what would you do there? And it's just that, the thing about this place is confidence and not overstepping the mark and, and sort of scaring yourself into taking steps backwards. I've just tried to build it gradually, and that's going to really help us, in, you know, massively with, uh, with Klaus's success. So yeah, we, I just can't wait. We're, we're really privileged and really honoured to be involved in it. <laughs> Sorry, my English is not so good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very happy I could come in this meeting. Thank you very much, my friend. And my life is sidecar, and I have not a chance for drive before. Here, Isle of Man, after all the time I look at this, it's a very good sport. And the guy is my friend, and I'm happy I can help, and I hope so. It's a good time. I, I, I think that's only in sidecars, but he, because he's still racing in, in 2012. So he's racing in the World Championship against these two. <laughs> he's, he's buying the bike for them for the GT, so that's only, I think, in the bike first. But that, that makes them, the, whole, the whole scene quite nice. You know?
and frustrating because he's very fast. To me, it's no problem. The best must win, and they have the best, then you win. It's a sport. Yeah, and uh, uh, also we have a. There's not not just the coffee is 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 a, give us a big help. There is also also Andy with his company and, and Mitchell of course the Wittex the makes gas that makes telecom home strategic uh, road and track Shell and, and, and Batches of course is a, also give us a big help to make this possible. Uh, Andy, you want to say something? Uh, well, just. Very excited uh, for Ben and Tom. As Andy said, I support them in World Championships with British and I've done for a number of years. Um, I'm just chuffed to bits really that they've kept me involved with this. I've been, um, I've been coming myself for about 10 years to the island anyway, uh, before I met Ben and Tom. But it's even better when, when they're here racing, so really can't wait. Looking forward to it. I just want to say thank you really. Um, it's been a massive honour, you know, to, to be involved in, in what you've put together and the team that you have got. This, when we came here in 2009, it quickly becomes apparent to you that you know this is a, a big deal coming in. You you want to eventually win the race, you know, at some point. And that's that's what we're that's what we're into. That's what we're aspiring to do. I don't think we're, we're going to overstep the mark or, or try too much too soon. But, you know, we're not over ambitious, but we have got ambitions and. You know, we hope, hope to fulfil them, but it's just a, a thanks really to the guys who have helped us get here. And it will be hard for me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Soon I will be a main resident, should I? Mm -hmm. Yeah? In about four weeks I will be full main resident. <laughs> and I drove with Sarah. Uh, after Christmas we drove along where? Kriebe. Kriebe and I said to her, oh I will miss that. <laughs> flying, flying down there with 250k. But I made a decision and uh, I will not change it anyway. To, and I'm happy to, to help them. And I, I hope I can give you as much as possible help. And he can say yes or no as well. Is there any question you on your side, Tim? Wish you well. I'll have a chat with you and yeah. we'll put this on this evening, but it's an exciting project. I see a new chassis being built. Would it be built any different? For TT chassis? Uh, we, yeah, it, first of all, it, that <coughs> chassis is built specially for TT, mm -hmm. and then it's especially built for them because they're quite small, and uh, with all the experience of we got last year, because we uh, first first year we tried first time a, a different tire, we used like car tire. Mm -hmm not like the standard uh, sidecar tires, so it, it was a car tire and it worked very well and now we put all this into complete new uh, chassis that they got this uh, last week and now in England we got Honda engine in from uh, Chris Mayhew mm -hmm. so the package will be okay so, would that be the first time a chassis has been built specifically for the TT, or? Uh, mainly that that F2 chassis uh, Louis Christen is building as um, specially made for TT. Mm. But this is even more it's with all the updates. Okay. Yeah. Nobody else has got the same chassis they've been using. <coughs> yeah. I've got a different swing on to, to have the tire. Mm. Okay. Yeah, which again is something that I'm really excited about. I can't, I can't wait to try it because it's it's class of experience and input that that's gone into that chassis. Because he's not had to do two jobs with it, he's not had to race it on a short circuit. Right. Which most of the people that come to the Isle of Man, they use the bike on a short circuit as well. Mm -hmm. So you, you all, you know, even when I drove one, I, I often I still have ideas that I think you really need this over here, but. 
it's being able to put it together and compromise, yeah. That's where his relationship with Luke is coming and you know, it's gonna be something something special, something that's not uh, not just the average rather than psycho. But quite bad. The bigger tire actually works as suspension. Better I was gonna say it gives it better ride yeah. it stays on the ground in yeah. go-kart, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Because the, the cyclists always have the, the problem of the progressive of the of the springs, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know why nobody come up with this idea before, but I, it was actually I was over yeah, with Bilan so last year, yeah. and Bilan when we I showed him, or we he knows already from 30 years ago, but he said, why you don't use a big tire? I said, what you mean with big tire? Yeah. He says you need the suspension of the tire. Yeah. So that then we start thinking about that, mm -hmm. and it worked. It worked really well. Do you think other people will be trying it? <coughs> I heard about you said Tim Reeves will try it. There's a few guys will try it here, yeah. but it's as you know, it's not just swap the tire. You have to feed everything. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So like Andy says, a different swing arm, it's different linkage, and okay. it's all different. So it's not that easy, you know. Mm -hmm. And that advantage, um, Ben have, mm -hmm. Ben and Tom have this year before they are to find out how to use it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they won't have time to build anymore before June. <laughs> <laughs> You've got new regulations this year as well, haven't you? Quite different as well, is it 600? Yeah, it belongs to the, the engine tuner. Yeah. Yeah, he knows that. that so we, we are not involved in that. We just take yeah. the engines, put them in chassis. Is, is it more restrictions then? Or more? Um, I think down <coughs> down the head or oh, no up the head casket is you can't change standard nothing to a standard yeah. one. You just above the uh, above the head gasket it's gotta be standard. Gotta be standard above the head gasket. Which is which is gonna be interesting because normally the six hundred the majority of the tuning is done on the cylinder. I was gonna say surely that will cause less reliability, wouldn't it? Maybe less I think the thinking oh, behind it is yeah. <coughs> cost. Uh, more level playing field. Who me? Who me? More level playing field is the theory. The cost. But keeping the cost down. Yeah, which is the, uh, it's completely wrong. Yeah, because thinking. if it breaks a valve spring, yeah. it costs a lot more. It's mm -hmm. completely wrong thinking. Mm -hmm. And you know, the problem is now to police it. Mm -hmm. That is, for me, it's absolutely ridiculous decision. As as you know, and if these new engines cost us more money than the old tuned one. Because they need, like Chris, have to do so much mm -hmm. special work, you know, not changing bars, but to get the power out of it. Mm -hmm. It's but mm -hmm. regulation is regulation. Mm -hmm. We're not complaining about it. It's just <coughs> so if anybody wants to buy five engines from last year, we've got some. <laughs> <laughs> you can't burn that. No. Klaus, <laughs> 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 do you see this progression with the uh, the, the the suspension? as a, a possible, the only way you can really improve the sidecars now, the lap record, the speeds, because the, the speed, you know, Nick's speed at 116 was, 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 was achieved in 2007, and it hasn't gone beyond that in, in four years, and, and you just wonder, I mean, I, I've, I've spoken to both Nick and to Molly about this, and they both think that the speeds have just about got to the peak. Two men on a 600cc capacity machine around this course, do you think this could be a way forward to, to uh, progress it towards 120? There's there's two things to say about this. Is one is uh, Nick did it in one lap, and that that bike was prepared for one record lap. Mm -hmm. That's what he did. Mm -hmm. Like him and Molly, they crazy like this. They just want to do crazy laps, you know. Mm -hmm. The other thing was when I drove with Dan the last two TTs, he said. You ma uh, on, on most of the parts you're faster than these two guys, but there's, there's a few bits, don't try, because they are crazy there, and that's why they do the lap times, you know. So, and it's it's not necessary, you know, you, like, like I did, I did what I need to do, and no more. It was a fast year, 07 as well. Pardon? It was a fast year, it was a full week of practice. Yeah. It would obviously two races, you know, it was yeah. people got a lot of track time. Yeah. That's not necessarily been the case. Yeah. But I think lap speeds will be down this year because of the Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. 
they will be down anyway. That's only in chairs around here. Yeah. yeah. But that that is like Molly and, and Nick they always was like this, just yeah. to to trace it up. Yeah, there was more to it than just that. Yeah, and I, I I'm more like this and I think it it's also his philosophy, just do as as much as you need to do and no yeah. more. The idea is to win the race in the slowest speed possible. No, it's just interesting mm. to hear your <coughs> views on, on this yeah. and uh, you've explained it well. You, know, you so. could have gone faster if you wanted, couldn't you? To get no need. I don't know. Yeah. To Can, be crazy some, yeah. on some stage. Can you remember the two places that Dan said not to push it? Uh, I, I know where it is, but I, I don't know the name. It's. Uh, you know, uh, through this bumpy bit to Ramsey. Yeah. Uh, ginger Hall. Ginger Hall. Yeah. Quite, yeah. Quite, After Ginger Hall. Yeah. Quite a long time. And then is a, a, a quite tight uh, left, uh, right. Carol. And, and, uh, and, uh, and the left. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there down, he says, these two guys, they go flat out down there to the, to the left. And he said, don't try it. Was that just Dan trying to be uh, looking after himself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably. Probably. He's just, yeah. probably. He was worried. <laughs> yeah, there was a few bits like that where he said, yeah. don't try that. Yeah. Was. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, that, that's the nice things about the TT, you know, that is, that's, that's the stories about TT. Mm -hmm.